Yo, hey, this shit hey. easy, nigga. Hey, I'm talking about, nigga. I'm still out here trying to get it. Contender regime boxing checking back in with y'all, man. What's happening? Earl the Truth Spence Jr. versus Danny Garcia has been moved from November 21st to December 5th, and it's gonna be big. It's gonna be at Texas Stadium, Dallas Cowboys Stadium, aka Jerry World, and it's gonna have fans. Fans will be in attendance. Tickets go on sale October the 10th or the 14th. Tickets will be on sale this month, October. And I think this was a great move to move this fight um, to a different venue. It was originally supposed to happen at Staples Center in LA. And you know, the, with the strict with the strict guidelines in, L, in in California right now, there wasn't gonna they wasn't gonna be able to have fans in attendance. So this is huge for the live gate to be able to, you know, so everybody can get paid what they need to get paid, plus having the fans, you know, with this being a pay-per-view fight, a big pay-per-view fight, I actually think that this fight is going to be a, a bigger fight than Earl versus Mikey Garcia and Earl Spence versus Sean Porter, uh, straight off of, the, off of the fact that Earl Spence, this is his first fight coming back since the accident. Everybody's going to be tuned in to see how he looks. All his, all the Earl Spence Jr. fans are going to be excited to watch him back in the ring. Even the, the naysayers, you know, the, the, the haters and the doubters, they want to, you know, tune in to see him lose. You know, they want to see if something wrong with him or something fucked up. So it's going to be a lot of eyes on Earl Spence Jr. in this fight. And you got Danny Garcia, who is, you know, Earl Spence is the number one fighter at welterweight unified champion. This this fight is going to have the WBC and the IBF belt on the line. You have Danny Garcia, who is the number one contender and the mandatory for the WBC title. And he's extremely motivated. He understands that this might be his last opportunity to get a big payday, to get a, a fight of this caliber, the last chance to become unified in the welterweight division and become champion again. You know, so you're gonna you got two guys that feel like that they got something to prove. You know, Earl. Earl, I'm pretty sure Earl want to show everybody that, look, man, I ain't lost a step. I ain't lost a step. And in fact, I'm better than I was. Danny Garcia want to prove, look, I'm still an elite fighter. I'm still at the top of my game and I can beat this guy. So there's going to be a lot of action and a lot of fireworks and a lot of energy surrounding this fight. And I think it was the best move to, to take this fight to Texas Stadium where you can have a capacity of fans there. You're going to get that that classic element brought back to boxing, which I think is important. I've been enjoying the the, the good, the you know, the nice matchups where without fans like the, the Charlo fights, um, um, you know, I bet the, the, the Ugas and I forget I forget the guy's name that Ugas fought. But there's been some pretty good matchups and some good fights without fans and i've enjoyed the ambiance of that where you can it's, it's it's quieter you can hear the effects of the punches you can hear the guys you know grunting and talking shit to each other and stuff like that you can hear the referee talking and it it did it was a different environment and i that was cool i dig that you know what i'm saying but it's a different type of element and energy that's brought to the to the sport when you got fans in attendance I think that that raises the level of energy for each fighter. And I think it brings a different type of thing, a different type of, um, you know, uh, uh, emotion and energy and, and, and um, aggression out of these fighters. I just think it brings, you know, more showmanship out of these guys. And, you know, I just think that, that this is a fight like this. You want to have fans in attendance and i think this was a great move also it give both of these guys an extra couple of weeks to prepare the one downside for these fighters is that they won't get to enjoy thanksgiving i'm pretty sure that they wanted to have that fight before thanksgiving so they can all you know after the fight they can go eat good and you know and do their thing man have them some sweet potato pie you know have them some turkey some dressing you know with the cranberry sauce you dig what I'm saying? Have some greens, some macaroni and cheese. You know what I'm saying? Some black eyed peas, you know, some baked beans, all type of things going on on Thanksgiving. I know them boys is going to be missing out, but 
that right there is gonna give, I think that's gonna give these fighters even a more of an edge. You know, I think these guys gonna be hungry, literally, but they gonna be hungry. They gonna be, they gonna be on edge. They gonna be aggressive and they gonna be like, you know what I'm saying, motherfucker, you making, I'm, I'm missing Thanksgiving for this. I wanna go knock somebody head off. I like that. This is gonna be a great fight, y'all. I'm happy that, you know, Earl Spence is bringing it back to the crib, another hometown fight. He's comfortable here. You know, he, he, he's, he sold out the star in Frisco, the Dallas Cowboys practice facility. You know, he did big numbers, did uh, 40,000 plus at, at Cowboys Stadium where this fight is going to be held. So Earl Spence, you know, he's also fought at the Bomb Factory. You know, Earl Spence is comfortable fighting at home. And I think this is a beautiful thing. He's going to have his hometown crowd. He's going to have, you know, the, the fan base there to support. And I think, you know, with this being his first fight back, what better place to have his comeback fight than in Dallas, Texas, man. You know what I'm saying? This this word's gonna go down, man. You know what I'm saying? Home of the killer. Home of the G. Boy, Ryan Hurt, riding dub, dude, D. You know what I'm saying? It's going down, you feel me? So look, hey, Earl Spence Jr. versus Danny Garcia, December 5th is going down. You know what I'm saying? Mark your calendars. Get get ready to purchase your pay-per-view if you're gonna pull up to the fight. You know what I'm saying? Get ready, get your tickets. The tickets gonna be dirt cheap. You know, it's COVID going on, it's coronavirus. If you ain't hiding up under the sea, scared of that COVID, man, go ahead and book your tickets. It's gonna be dirt cheap. Hotels gonna be cheap. You know what I'm saying? Pull up, man. Contender regime boxing. I holler at y'all boys, man.